Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. Diving into something brand new today. We're going to check out a band, I think they're heavy metal, called Archspire and their song, Golden Mouth of Ruin. Today's shout out goes to Jess. Thank you for buying me coffees and making your suggestion. I want to check out this song. All that I know so far, from what I can tell, is that it's heavy metal. I'm gonna be checking out their official music video, over 700,000 views. Um, the band has quite some, some following too. Um, this song was put out on a YouTube channel called Season of Mist. I'm not sure if they also put out other rock songs or how this is connected. The band Artspire, I hope I'm saying their name right, is from Canada, a technical death metal band from Vancouver. And, um, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I think their lead singer, from what I see here, is Ollie Peters. Their metal, obviously, is more of an umbrella term for all kinds of different things, all kinds of different subgenres. There is symphonic metal, alternative metal, black metal, Christian metal, crust punk death metal, doom metal, extreme metal, um, heavy metal, speed metal, thrash metal, power metal, slam death metal, black metal, pagan metal, uh, just interesting. Funk metal, I don't even know. There's all kinds of different metals, um, like literally and musically speaking. And um, I guess these are death metal. So I have a feeling it's going to be really hard. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm all about exploring music from around the world. And I guess it's time for some canon on music. Um, not that that's all the music that exists in Canada, as we know, because, you know, Fauzia being Moroccan-Canadian, and that's completely different than metal. But I'm going to check it out because I want to keep an open mind and we'll see what this is about. This song is gold called Golden Mouth of Ruin. Just requested this. My first thought is Golden Mouth of Ruin. Interesting, right? Because some people consider gold, you know, money as, you know, the cause of ruin. I don't agree with that, right? I think it's how you use it that matters. Sometimes, something I think of is the saying, you know, not everything that uh, that sparkles is gold, right? Um, so sometimes, you know, it may look like gold, it's not really. And then when I hear this phrase, golden mouth of ruin, I'm thinking maybe a mouth that seems to be golden, seems pretty, seems enticing, but actually it's leading to ruin, right? Maybe like being enticed by a beautiful woman and she's a mess and uh, causes your ruin, or, you know, someone, man or woman, that are, like, good at charming, good at making things look golden, and then they cause your destruction. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put on the subtitles, and I'm going to check it out. As always, like, share, subscribe. All the links below. Here we go. Okay, I don't understand a word he's saying. I'm trying because I pulled up the lyrics. I even had the subtitles on and all that it said was music. <laughs> ah, okay, this is heavy and like literally, but also like I have no idea what he's saying. I'm pulling up the lyrics, but I think there's, 
I thought at first he's just mumbling something, and because he's mumbling it, you can't hear it. But then you pull up the lyrics, and it's like, lyrics, 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 like a full page of lyrics, and I don't understand a single one of them. I'm impressed by the skill. The drummer, boy, to be able to drum that fast and on point rhythmically, but then even the electric guitar, like, they're, like, so fast. It's crazy. But the the, the speed of the rhythm... And the intensity is affecting me in a way because I'm not used to this. This is not my normal meal when it comes to musical stakes. And obviously music has a psychological effect on us, right? To some, this can be really cathartic. Like I saw a show recently where the lady, and very you would have never thought it, you know, just seeing her on the street in this show because, you, you know, it seemed like a suburban housewife. When she would process her grief, she would go put, get in her car and blast um, heavy metal music. So I definitely understand how to some... It's very cathartic. Someone else, in this case, this band, these musicians, putting in, in words and music what people feel and go through. To me personally, because I have my own way of processing my emotions, this is not common for me. So naturally, my response is going to be one more from a place of being on guard. And the the speed of, of the rhythm is like affecting the way that my heart is beating and the way that my body is responding. And that just is, goes to say that music is so psychological. Okay, let's keep going. This is heavy. Wow. Oh my word. Musically crazy skill. That drummer, brrr, I mean, oh my goodness. His ability and the how fast he was uh, uh, playing the drums. The guitar riffs were epic. Like, even though this is not something I would just listen to on my own, he was like running up and down that guitar like crazy. The guy's vocals, though I didn't understand a word that was being sung, were impressive every what i could hear that growl that scream and the fullness of it it was very very um very guttural um and i'm guessing because they do this probably for a living that he you know has a lot of techniques that he that he has a lot of good techniques to do this without ruining his voice but the song golden mouth of ruin the lyrics now that I'm reading them, say rearranging time in the glaring golden mouth at ruin. We reenact the life Bonnet pre creates in their glowing gape. Their dislocating bite to become the law of all our endeavors, gutting our belief to reel us. Every one of our memories gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing because of the lyrics. I'm laughing because not only did I not understand a word he was singing because he was screaming him. Now it turns out what he was screaming 
was completely eloquently profound. Rearra- try screaming that. Try saying that normal fast. Rearranging time in the glaring golden mouth of ruin, we reenact the life Bonet pre- creates in their glowing game. Their dislocating bite to become law, 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 law. I can't even say it like normal fast. Try screaming that. Gutting our belief to realists. Like it's so many. That's impressive. That takes skill to be able to say all those things. Well, maybe he didn't have to say them clearly because he's screaming them. But let's just say he did, and I just couldn't hear it because this is not my type of music. Then that's really impressive to be able to sing and scream, dislocating bite to become the law. There's so many consonants and vowels. I would trip over my own face even just trying to say this without, like, not to mention say it fast, not to mention scream growl it. Wow. Um... I'm not sure what the meaning of it would be. It's very deep. I feel like it's very, just like very poetic, very rich, very just deep. Lots to interpret here. Would you guys help me? Let me know in the comments below. What is this song about? We now begin the crawl. The ritual is embedded in our brain. To make it open, we kneel around the well. In the room, we allocate at our home to be an altar. We grind the skin against the brick. What? In the golden mouth of ruin? Reenact what they reflect in the golden mouth of ruin. Grip of time defied in the glaring golden mouth of ruin. I have no idea what this is about or what he's even trying to say. This is very in-depth, poetically, eloquently written. Let me know. Help me in the comments below. What is this song about? If you're into metal and you know this. The the, the musical performance was profound. Skill-wise. Now, metal or such fast music is interesting because, for one, we know that music is psychological, not just lyrics and what they mean. I've said this before, but music in and of itself. Music is represented by numbers and letters. It's mathematical. It's art. It's so profound, um, the effect it can have on us emotionally, spiritually, and psychologically. And we know that it even has therapeutic effects. It's used in therapy because it can really change and alter the brain. And what's interesting is, is that both sides of our brain are used when we process music. It's processed in both hemispheres of the brain. And um, that encourages transfer from information from left to right and vice versa. That can cause trauma that has occurred in the brain to be undone. Music is powerful. It also is possible um, that music and emotions are processed in the same neural network of the brain. And that it can that music can stimulate certain emotional responses. So it's a powerful tool in therapy. Um, it can literally change and um, affect brain chemistry when it comes to fast music. Now, for me, my initial response was like I, I felt a level of of anxiety in my in my gut just because I'm not used to this and it's so it sounds so aggressive and intense. But you've got to keep in mind when we listen to music, we're not only hearing and perceiving lyrics and what is being sung. We're perceiving the instruments. We're perceiving the beats per minute. That can have an effect on the heartbeat, right? We're literally wired with nerves and with a system within our body that is literally uh, fueled, kept alive by a beat, our heartbeat, right? It's the most vital beat there is, literally. And so when we hear the beats, it's only natural that our brain processes things, that it causes an effect in our body, And it's just interesting to me that there's beats outside of our body we can perceive through our ears, through our nervous system, through even touch, not just things you hear, but even touch. And, um, you know, the fact that our heart beats at a certain rhythm and a certain rhythm is healthy, certain rhythm is unhealthy, right? For example, upbeat music is known to be more motivating. It can provide energy boosts to people and to people's brains. That's why, you know, it helps when people are trying to work out and they listen to upbeat music. However, when we're trying to focus, when we're trying to relax, calm ourselves or study, it's helpful to have more calming music, perhaps some instrumental music where there's not a lot of distraction going on, right? So our brain responds to different types of music. It has been found in certain studies that fast-paced music can evoke feelings of happiness, can invoke excitement, and I can see why you know people that like to listen to this type of music will respond with excitement because it's a fast-paced beat just as much as maybe slow music or music that's done predominantly in minor keys can have a more of a negative effect or pull us down or make us feel more tired or sad or just you know tap into the gravity so there's different effects that music has on us but of course something important to keep in mind is that it's not just a matter of the beats per minute but also the instrumentation the lyrics and our experiences, right? Though this music might get me all hype and bring up my energy, which you may then perceive in my videos, 
Internally, I may feel a hesitation to open my heart to this and enjoy this because of my experiences, my upbringing. And we're switching the camera for a second because my phone died and I'm gonna get this video out to you. Either way, it's very interesting to see how music has an effect on us, slower, fast pace, but there's many other elements involved like your upbringing, your emotional state at this moment, right? Today, you might perceive something differently than tomorrow. Our cultural, religious upbringing, our family environment, perceptions of the people that have raised us, our caretakers, our parents. There's so many different facets and elements to why we perceive the things we do and how it affects us. And though this music is not something I would listen to myself, it's just very heavy. I didn't understand what was being sung. I could understand the um, appreciation for it for people that have when I have that cathartic experience if there's anger or if there's heavy emotions they're trying to process or maybe an excitement and a joy of listening to this and this fast-paced rhythm just lots of interesting things to explore when we're talking music and psychology this was interesting this was heavy and as I'm exploring different types of metal I think it was necessary for me to also explore this type of metal the heavy death metal Whew, that was a lot. Like, I'm gonna have to like just listen to some classical music now to kind of just bring my energy level down. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like, share, subscribe. All the links below. I appreciate you stopping by. Until next time, ayo! Hey